So, I guess the question is, do you like it clean? Or do you like it dirty? Today we're going to be shooting a 17 HMR. Uh, the barrel has had about 400 rounds through it. That's eight boxes of the CCIs. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're just going to find out if it really matters and how much it matters between a dir dirty barrel, we'll pull the bolt out, we'll give her a good scrub cleaning, then we'll shoot it again, both at 50 to 100 yards, to see how much it changes. Uh, we, I picked the 17 because 17 caliber is notorious for getting fouled out barrels from overshooting. This should be cool to see the little changes in it, if any. All right, let's start shooting. So what's your predictions? Do you think it's gonna matter a whole bunch? First, we're gonna start off with the 50. I'm gonna go with the left side in the 50, and then I'll go down to the 100. We'll walk down there. We'll check it out. Here we go. Again, it's a dirty barrel. All right, we're gonna drop the mag, put four more in, run it all the way out to the 100. What's you guys' favorite thing to shoot? I really like, I mean, I like it all, but Rimfire has a special place. Shooting this stuff since I was a kid, and it's just a good time. All right, let's stretch this out all the way down there. Okay, one more time, this was a dirty barrel. 50 and 100 yards. Let's clean this thing up. All right, we got the magazine out, the bolt out. I really like to use this Hoppies number nine. I know a lot of shooters do, but it's just kind of my favorite. This is good scrubbing. And I'll see you when I start shooting again. Okay, well we got her back together. I basically just ran Hoppies nine through it scrubbed out the barrel real good and then ran dry patches through it till we got her all clean. I know a lot of people do their cleaning procedure a little bit different but I'm here at the range and uh, no matter what the outcome of this test is I really think that we need to keep our guns fairly clean. Um, but do we need to clean them up after every single shot? I don't. But a lot of people do. We're just gonna shoot this again at the 50 and 100 and this is a completely clean barrel. Um, should be interesting. I wanted to not film all the way down there. Make you guys wait till the end to see what happens. All right, well, let me throw on my stuff, my glasses and ear protection, and uh, we'll shoot a few more times. Clean barrel. Well, isn't that interesting? This thing is sighted in for 100 yards. Uh, that's what I have this one sighted in for. This will be real interesting to see how this comes out. Okay. I'm going to throw four more in it. Shoot at the 100. I 
don't know, I really like these little CCI uh, polymer tip bullets. They shoot really well out of this rifle. Um, haven't really tried anything else in it because, well, I can't find anything else. But these shoot pretty good. You know, just the CCI VMAX bomb tip ones. Alright, Hunter, here we come. You know it started raining like crazy. I know I've heard a bunch of different stories that the rain doesn't actually touch the bullet and blah blah blah. I don't know if it works or not. I know humidity affects it a whole bunch. Yeah, this is like my GoPro's first experience with getting wet. This is fun. Let's uh, get a $300 camera wet. See what we can do. Dirty barrel. Look at that. That opened. Look at that. That opened up. Why that's that's open 400 yards 400 rounds through that thing didn't really like it check that out clean clean bore this one I guarantee it was pulled because the rest of these are just so tight let's walk on down to the hunter to see what happened all right this here dirty bore look at that here's my hand so you kind of get a you know that's inch and a half now, wait till you see the clean bore. See how much of a difference that this sucker made. Look at that. That is a half an inch. My thumb covers it all. That's a half an inch. So remember, guys, keep your guns clean. Shoots a lot better. All right, guys, till next time, let's keep this cheap. Stay out of the rain, keep dry, all that jazz.